Tim, the question that has literally haunted me most of my life has been the classic, uh, why is there something rather than nothing? Why is there anything at all? Uh, and I try to explore it in, from different perspectives. Uh, it is a metaphysical question. And then I came upon your uh, strong statement that basically, maybe I get this wrong, that the only purpose of metaphysics, and this is a metaphysical question that haunts me, uh, is to um, find out what's real in physics. And no other value. No, I, I, so I didn't, hope I didn't say that. <laughs> um, metaphys I, what I was trying to do was say, I, if you understand what metaphysics is, what it was originally according to Aristotle, which is where sure. we get the term, um, it was the study of being qua being. It was the study of what exists carried out at the most general, generic level. So you don't want to say, oh, here's a table that exists. You say, yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> I, I want a more general categorization of things that exist. Some of the things that exist are physic physical. And if you want to understand the fundamental nature of physical existence, then you better take account of what we've learned through physics. So in, to that extent, you have to study physics to do that part of metaphysics in a respectable way. That's all I meant by that. Okay. Uh, that's not to say that everything that exists is physical. We can have mathematical objects, which it seems to me are not physical, mathematical truths that are truths that are not about, you can't change them by changing physics. Uh, I think there are ethical, some objective moral truths that are not physical. Again, you can't change morality by changing physics. Um, the question of why there's something rather than nothing is not one that's ever bothered me because it seems to me pretty evident there can't be what you would consider to be a satisfactory answer to it. Um, if I say, well, there's something rather than nothing because, the because is going to mention something, right? It's got to mention something existent. Uh, it can't be that there's something rather than nothing because of something non-existent. So then I'm begging the question, because then you're just going to ask me, but that thing you just pointed to, to explain the existence of everything, why does it exist? Right. And so you're obviously on a on a regress that's never going to end. So your claim is that the question itself is nonsensical? I think the, the question clearly is not one to which there can be a satisfactory answer, so you're wasting your time puzzling yourself over it. Is, uh, is in the range of possibilities the possibility that there could have been nothing, absolutely nothing? Uh, is it a... F well, it's not in the sense that people often talk about this. So as I say, I think there are mathematical facts, and in some sense or other mathematical entities, I don't think there's any possibility in which math, math isn't true. Um, if you're asking physically, would there have to be a physical world, or is it physically possible for there not to be a physical world? Um, to say it's physically possible for there for not to be a physical world is, of course, a kind of funny thing to say. Um, I'm not, you know, it's such an odd locution, I'm not quite sure even how to answer it. Um, so, if you would believe, for example, that the laws of physics or quantum physics or whatever below is the, is the, is the universe generator in some sense, um, I can imagine a condition where those laws weren't there. I mean, that's not hard to do. Uh, yeah, you can imagine lots of things that can't happen. So you have to be a little careful so about when, when going you from your imagination to what's possible. Well said, uh, but now, now you use an interesting term that can't happen. So if you use the term can't happen, can't in its, its yeah. robust sense, mm -hmm. that means something is necessary. Necessary in the philosophical sense. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, ne right, necessary so, in some serious so as sense. So as, as some people say, in any possible world, that has to be there. Right. There, there's no logical way that could right. not exist. Right. Okay, so if that's true, and that may be true, what what, what um, populates that category of stuff that you've claimed, you know, can't not be? So, um, again, there are the things that we don't think of as contingent anyway, like mathematics, and I would claim well, well, certain moral claims are uh, not uh, contingent. Okay, well, these, these are and important, because some people say we invented mathematics, and it's, uh, it's not, it doesn't exist anywhere, it's a fiction. Right. I mean, there's a whole bunch of yeah, yeah, different yeah. theories. So, but uh, but I'm for the physical yours. world, uh, or, well, so, about the physical world, um, I think you get into to tricky questions about could the laws of nature have been different. When we talk about physical possibility, we usually mean hold the laws of nature fixed. That's what makes it a physical possibility, okay. is that it's in accordance with the laws of physics. So just by definition, 
in order to be physically possible, the laws have to be the same as the actual laws of nature. But you can play a game of saying, well, what would happen if gravity had been an inverse cube law? <laughs> but I, I think, um, I don't think I can ha have to take that as a serious possibility. Yeah, I understand it? how that game is played. I understand that game, but, that, but that's a different game. This game says, is it possible for those laws of physics, whichever ones you want, not to have been at all? Right. Not, to, not, not to have been different. That's a different right. game. This game says, could, could, could you have a condition where they didn't exist at all? Right. It, are the laws of phys uh, physics contingent right. as opposed to being necessary? Right. So, again, I think just by definition of physical possibility, it's not physically possible for the laws not to have been what they are. So, so it, if you're asking, <laughs> is it possible, you're talking about possible in some sense other than physical possibility. Other than this world, in other words, uh, other, could this world have been different, and the, could, could reality have been different, and the, and the difference that I'm now talking about is not different laws of physics, but mm -hmm. no laws of physics at all. Yeah, um, I don't have a, a clear enough grip on the exact meaning of the could, there are different coulds, right? Yeah. There's what's technologically possible, what's physically possible, you know, well, what's possible in principle. or so. metaphysically possible. Right, so the, 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 the sense of metaphysical possibility here, I think, is not sharp enough for me to have a clear answer to that. At least myself, I don't... There are certain things I'm clear about. It's not metaphysically possible for, for water to be anything than H2O. Okay. All right? Okay. You, can, you can, as it were, talk about worlds, right, right. <laughs> but that's not something that could, could happen in a metaphysical sense of could. It's inconsistent with the essence or nature of water. Right. And my question is, I guess, is, I'm not sure my question, yeah. <laughs> but, but I think my question is, uh, in, 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 the, in the case of could the laws of physics be, be not there not at all, exist. that is a, a, in the same sense that you, you said with water, because mm -hmm. there with water, metaphysically, water could not be different than H2O. Right. I, I agree with that. Right. And so I'm saying in that same way of thinking, could it be, could it, it be that the, how, how do you analyze the laws of physics? So I, again, if you're, put a gun to my head and say, answer this question, I, like I guess to, yeah, I, I, I'm doing, I'm trying to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would say, no, I don't think, I don't think it would be possible for there not to be laws of physics. So I, I am putting the proverbial gun to your head and you say the laws of physics are necessary. And then my reaction just as a reflex would be, what an odd way for reality to be. Quantum physics, all these complicated stuff. Well, you're not, uh, you're not gonna get out of that, right? Because that's the way reality is. Uh, apparently, that's what physics is telling us. So if you don't like that, if you find that too curious to accept, you're in a lot of trouble. The, the additional question we're asking here is, granted that's how reality is, did it have to be that way? Or is, there, are there, you know, is it metaphysically possible for it to be otherwise? And I guess I'm saying, no, I don't, I don't see any reason to think it, it is. We can't change the laws of nature. So if there are some possibilities that don't exist that we think are possible, like a golden mountain. Why do I think a golden mountain is possible? Well, I can pile up little bits of gold, and I don't think there's anything preventing, in principle, yeah. piling up a mountain of gold. Yeah. But I can't change the laws of physics even the tiniest bit. So why should I think they could have been different at all?